Like in uh, many other fields in medicine, uh, rarely we see dramatic changes. We see probably slow uh, steps uh, in the right direction, hopefully. And uh, that's the same is true for our field of functional GI disorders. Uh, one of my passions and my interests are motility disorders and then functional GI disorders, constipation, functional abdominal pain, IBS. And in those conditions, we are seeing a lot of uh, good signs, a lot of uh, pretty exciting uh, new information and improved understanding of the disease, uh, increased recognition at the primary care level and at the subspecialty level. Um, uh, more targeted testing, more appropriate therapies. Um, on the other hand, uh, we also have a uh, few setbacks. We still are lagging a little bit behind in terms of uh, our treatment options. Uh, but certainly we are much better now than we were than we were like five, ten years ago. That's, that's a, a huge problem for us in uh, pediatrics. Most of the medications are always tested in adults and at the beginning, and that's quite appropriate. Uh, the children are more fragile, there is more chance of uh, uh, problems to go unrecognized in children, especially when they are not verbal, um, especially in young children. So it is certainly appropriate for drugs to be developed after careful experimentations uh, in adults. Uh, the problem is that often that's where things stop. Rarely then uh, the, either the FDA or the drug companies uh, have uh, an interest in, in, in having those drugs studied in children as well. So we are learning almost by doing and rarely there is uh, an indication for that medication to be used in children.